Welcome to Hyderabad, the capital of Telangana. To eat some biryani. Whoa! We've flown all the way here. I've recommended a lot of different places. Shadab, yeah, Shadab is also Shadab. Shadab. Uh, yeah, it's also good. Chala to Shadab. It's very busy. Oh my goodness gracious. And here it is. <laughs> the world famous. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Biryani. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Hyderabad, the capital of Telangana state and the fourth most populated city in all of India. We came to India for a lot of reasons, but coming to Hyderabad to eat a certain dish was number one on the list. We've traveled all the way from Mysore. We are about to embark on a journey from Mysore to Hyderabad just to eat some biryani and the first step is get an our Uber to Mysore Airport. We are we're going to Hyderabad to yeah. eat the biryani. Is it good? You know biryani. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. There we go, the Uber driver said it. <laughs> number one in Mysore. Number all but number one uh, Hyderabad. Anyway, step two, Uber to Mysore Airport and the driver said Hyderabad biryani. Number three. We'll find out. And we have made it to Mysore airport. Everyone told us it was a tiny airport that no one came to, but it seems pretty nice. Um, we've got an hour to our flight. Everyone's bibbing at me. One step closer to the biryani. Off we go on our propeller plane to Hyderabad to eat some biryani. Look at this. Alliance Air. A tiny little propeller plane. It feels like it's an old one. But off we go. Namaskar, hello, hello. hello. good, two. thank you. Number two? Yeah, we're all the way at the front. Let's do ABCD. AB. AB. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much, Daniel. Look at that, what an amazing sunset. And this is Alliance Air. It's a little bit dated, but you've got a nice little bit of leg room. And I think I just heard on the announcement that we're off to Hyderabad for a biryani. <laughs> and we have made it. To the land of biryani. It is late, it's nearly 10 o'clock at night. I need to get to the hotel, get some sleep, and tomorrow, bright and early, we will achieve our dream. To try the famous, the world famous Hyderabad biryani. This is, whoa! That nearly got me. <laughs> that tut tut nearly got me. This city is famous for pearls, and of course, the biryani. We are on the hunt for the best biryani in all of Hyderabad. Do you like biryani? Biryani's good. Acha, biryani's good. We all love biryani. It's crazy. We've flown all the way here. And then I'm trying to... Hello. We have honestly never traveled this far to find something so, so famous, so important. We're going to have to ask someone where we're going, actually, because this place is crazy. And I think we might be a little bit... Are we going the right way? I have no idea. I need to find somebody to ask. We really need to say a massive thank you to Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our channel. They actually have set us up with a task of giving you some tips on how to deal with the dreaded jet lag. Jet lag occurs because your body's internal body clock has basically synced to your original time zone. So as difficult as it may be, you do need to retrain your body to sleep at the normal time, the new normal of the destination that you're in. The first tip that we have for you would be to book a late flight. Now, normally when you pop onto Skyscanner, you might see that the later flights are normally cheaper or the super early ones. They're normally the ones at the most inconvenient time. So we would suggest booking that late flight. The reason we say that is because when you arrive in your new destination, you will be tired and you will just fall asleep, meaning you are waking up bright and fresh the next morning, ready to explore your new destination. The second tip that we have is to eat and drink. I know that sounds crazy, but jet lag pretty much occurs because your body is dehydrated um, and eating good food and drinking lots of water will stop your body from becoming dehydrated and putting you into sleep mode. And the third and final tip is to be patient. Jet lag takes some time to get over, it takes a while for your body to recover and it takes some time for your body to actually get used to the zone you're in, to sink itself in with where you are. We're actually lucky and I don't want to jinx it but we haven't had jet lag 
for a while. But again, thank you Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our channel. So our hotel and quite a few people that we've met while in Hyderabad so far have recommended a lot of different places for the biryani. Everyone has their own favorite place. For instance, if I go up to this man here, he might say so-and-so and someone else will say somewhere else. So we're starting in the old historic part of Hyderabad near Charminar because we feel like this will be our best chance to find the best world famous biryani. We got told that's not very good by a lot of people. Hello. 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 I am looking for biryani. Shadab? No, no. From you know Shadab? Biryani? Shit. Straight? And it's good? Acha? Acha? Sad. Here you go. Hyderabad, wonderful. Bye bye. Thank you, bud. Okay, so that's two people that have told us. This way, right? Oh, wow. Area. Area. Welcome to India. Thank you. We are looking for biryani. Shadab, this way? No, no, not this way. You go to Charminar Auto. Charminar? Yeah. Ah. Hire an auto. See, everybody tells you something different. We want to go to Shadab. Is Shadab good? Shadab. Shadab. Oh, yeah, it's also good. It's also good? good, good. We will try Shadab. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Bye. Everyone's telling us something different. Wow. See, I thought he was going to run us over, but then he ended up trying to tell us to go somewhere else. Everyone tells you somewhere different. I think we have to stick with our guns. We've had two people tell us Shadab is good. So let's go. Chala to Shadab. So there are a lot of different types of biryani all throughout India but probably the most famous or the one that we know back home in the UK it definitely is right yeah, yeah, yeah. in all of the Indian restaurants back in the UK they serve the Hyderabadi biryani when we go to different places hello we are looking for what are we Shadab for biryani you know Shadab Shadab it's good Straight and it's good, Acha? Acha? Tiga? Tiga, Tiga, Tiga. It's <laughs> another person that says Shadab is good. But yeah, in lots of different places. So in Mysore, they have their own type. In Karnataka, their own form of biryani. Everyone's a little bit biased. I feel like if you're going to have biryani, you need to fly all the way to Hyderabad. I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. I, I am after biryani. Biryani. Danyavad. He wanted to take me to his shop. Oh wow. I like your rickshaw. Oh wow. Can we get in? Hello. Yeah, can we come in? No? We can come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. Oh, I thought they were going to take me to biryani. This is a Monday and so far this is probably the most chaotic place we've seen in all of India and apparently somewhere down here Hello, I'm okay, children's clothes <laughs> Somewhere down here is Shadab I don't know, is it down here? I think so We think it's down here, this is like a wild goose chase but for biryani, a wild biryani chase Left. Is it far? First left. First left, like one minute or two? Left, 
opposite, opposite side. Opposite side. Daniel Bang, thank you very much. I really thought we were going to get lost because one thing, Google Maps does not seem to work. So how we are finding our way, it's slightly difficult. You just have to trust that everybody knows what they're talking about and they're leading you in the right direction. But hopefully, we're almost... <gasps> I can see it. He wasn't wrong. Oh, I must say, I was not expecting this. Look at this building. And also, weirdly enough, it's not a hotel. So I don't know why it's called Hotel Is it not? Shadab. No, it's just a restaurant. I think they do that. I think they call restaurants mm. hotels. I think it's partly because you would come here and rest. So they kind of... I don't really know. You just call it a restaurant, wouldn't you? But yeah, Hotel Shadab. It's very busy. It is really busy. I'm not sure that we're going to get a table. Oh, where do you even go? Because they're selling like Lassie and Faluda outside. And you've got cigarettes over here. Oh my god, it's really busy. Hello. Wow. <laughs> where do we go? Can we have two? Upstairs. Upstairs, okay. And do we order back? here or upstairs? Upstairs, upstairs. Okay. thank you. Then... Daniel. Is the biryani good? The best. <laughs> Number one, then your bird. Okay, wow, it's busy. Is the biryani good? It's good? It's good, it looks good. It is absolutely packed. Hello, oh, is this the kitchen? Yeah. Can I see the biryani? It's not allowed? Oh, I would love to come and see the world famous biryani. Upstairs, okay, no worries, thank you. I tried, I tried. This is chaos. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow, I love his outfit. Oh, this is fancy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know if we're going to get a seat for a while, you know. It is so busy. <laughs> is this everybody waiting to eat? Oh my god. There is like. Look. All of these people waiting to be seated just for biryani <laughs> over here whoa 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 okay so they know we're waiting he said maybe five ten minutes this is absolutely insane i've never seen a restaurant like this before we're about 15 minutes in and it's getting busier i didn't think it would be possible but it's getting busier thank, thank you thank you then you <laughs> I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. Anyway, I hope. Wait two minutes. We are off to find our table. This is chaos. Honestly, I can't believe how busy it is. This is the busiest restaurant I've seen anywhere. Not just in India, but in the world. Everyone's here for biryani. Absolutely everyone. Are you here for biryani? Biryani's good? It's good. Yes, have a look at the menu. Thank you. What is the best thing to order? The is two sides in biryani and kebab. Biryani and kebab. Okay, which biryani? Mutton biryani, dum biryani. We are chicken Nothing, eaters. We like, we like chicken, not much. We heard you're famous for chicken. It's good? Yeah. We heard the that the best biryani yeah. in all of Hyderabad yeah. is here. We flew all the way from Mysore just to have biryani in your restaurant. So we hope, we hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Oh, no, of course, it's so busy. It's crazy, right? It's puggle. It's puggle. It's so busy. Every day, every so many Yeah, every day busy, right? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. <laughs> people up there. I think it's very much like sit, eat, leave as fast as you can. Rest your Cello, cello. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. I go around? I'll go around. This is chaos. Organised chaos. If it's busy, that's a good sign. Sorry, can I skip through? Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Hello. The seat is still warm. <laughs> We're sort of crammed in a corner, which I actually like because it means that you haven't got people watching past you. Um, but you heard the waiter himself. They're famous for the biryani and they're famous for the kebab. But I know what I've come in here for. I didn't come to Hyderabad to try kebab. They came to Hyderabad for the biryani. Wow, thank you. Hello. Hi. Is the biryani good? Yes. It's very good? Yes. Which one did you get? Chicken or? Mutton. Ah, mutton. We are getting chicken, I think. I don't like mutton. Are you just mutton. <laughs> chicken is good? Mutton is good. What ah. about chicken? Chicken is also good. Also good. Then you've had. There we go. The chicken is also good. That's what we're going to get. So apparently, Shadab's biryani has been 
part of our Hyderabadi tradition for four centuries. So basically, it's meant to be pretty, pretty good. Um, and it's known to be very affordable as well. For example, the biryani in here is 360, and I think we can share one between two, which makes it really, really good. Hey. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> Mr. Biryani. Mr. Biryani, okay. <laughs> we will get one chicken biryani, please. Okay. And what makes the Hyderabad biryani famous? Hyderabad biryani both is famous is become mutton and chicken both with the biryani. Mutton and chicken. And what is different between the Hyderabad biryani? Natural biryani, Hyderabad biryani, dum biryani, sir. Rice, peas and masala all together only including that. So that makes Some it different sir. from other biryani? This one other biryani. The fact is not the dumb fact is biryani. But you only get this, this in Hyderabad because it's the dumb. Okay, great. One then, chicken dumb biryani. One chicken biryani. And also can we have one water and two sprites, please? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm excited. I can't wait. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, what do we have here? What are the sauces? What is this? Raita. Raita and? Mirchi Sala. Masala. Yeah? And here it is. <laughs> the world famous. Oh my god, it looks so good. Biryani. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very Thank you. That looks absolutely unreal. I'm glad we only got one. Incredible. The rice is very easy. Ah, yes, please. Thank, Thank you very much. And Mr. Biryani was explaining that we have a writer, so like the yogurt sauce. Yeah, right? yogurt. Thank and you. The masala. Masala. And you put it on top. This put one. It on top? Yeah, this one mix. Mix. Pass, pass okay. some rice and put the, 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 the little bit. Is it spicy? Yeah. No, not too, too much spicy. It's okay for me? Just a little bit. Okay. Just name and then of chili curry, yeah. Okay. Just name of chili curry, not too, too much spicy. Not too much spicy. Okay. <laughs> Was it worth coming all the way? Oh my god, it's delicious, yeah. Oh, and you mix. We mix the mix. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. 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 Wow, it's a little bit spicy. Yeah, <laughs> a little spicy. We heard the Hyderabad one is a little spicy. That's okay, I can do that, don't worry. Thank I like you the so mixing. much. Thank yeah, you. Mixing. So, I think for us, you would need more of the writer. Mainly because our spice and Indian spice, it's not the same, you know? Like, we're not very good at spice. People make jokes about English people's spice being like black pepper. How's but the chicken? It's nice, it's like. It's on the bone, and as you can see, it's really tender, really soft. But you do need the right time. For, for just rice, it has a lot of flavour, you know? Let's do it. We have come all the way from Mysore to try the biryani. An Uber, a taxi, a flight, another taxi, a rickshaw into the old town this morning to try this. Oh, look at the chicken, it's really tender. Hyderabadi, I'm dropping it all over me, biryani. Let's go. Mmm. The rice is really fragrant. Like, really, really fragrant. I didn't think that it'd be mm, that fragrant at all. I think it's meant to be messy, though. It's very messy. And then there's a spice. Look at the mess that we've already made. It's all over the table. Wow. It's definitely got a kick. Have you tried it with the masala? Yeah, but I have rice on top. <coughs> it tickles. We ordered three drinks. We got water. We got ah. Oh, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. This is for the spice. This is for the spice. spice. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good though. I needed the the coolingness of the sprite to get the tingles off my tongue. <laughs> I'm still. <clears throat> oh my god, it's so needed. I actually like the spice, but you know, you just at times you have to equal it out with something. This sauce, though, look at that. Can you see? Oh, it's good. I think I maybe put too much on right now. I'm gonna have to mix it all up. You can actually go for mutton. A lot of people will tell you in Hyderabad to get the mutton biryani. Unfortunately, mutton isn't really... It's not our favourite, is it? No, not It's definitely not our favourite, but... Yeah, chuck that on. Get the masala on there. Not too much. That is a lot. <laughs> Chicken with the masala. Mm. The 
so good. It's very good. Thank you. So spicy. It's so spicy. You know what? I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy because it's just like rice. <laughs> You are putting a hot masala sauce on it. Chicken, yeah, that masala sauce. Mm. It's actual punch. Thank you very much. Then you've had Mr. Biryani. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Biryani. <laughs> <laughs> People are now queuing. Oh my god, it needs the pot. This is where you cook the biryani? In this biryani? You cook in this. Wow, it's very big, the pot. That's so cool. Have you seen? Then you've had. Wow. The size of the pots that they cook the biryani in, but we achieved it. We met Mr. Biryani himself at Hotel Jadab. Starting off yesterday from Mysore, traveling pretty much overnight to make it to Hyderabad. And I have just had, I think, my favorite meal so far in India. We've actually got a couple more days to explore this incredibly diverse, unique, city and we have so many more things to see and do so if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe follow us on instagram i'm going back to the hotel i've literally had no sleep in 24 hours just to get some blooming biryani we'll see you in the next one